We've lived in Japan for over three years and we consider ourselves quite outdoor otaku. However, we've never done extensive travel around Fuji. And today, it is all about finding the most unique, beautiful views of Fuji. And I think you can agree we have started off strong. We've come up here to Fujiyama Terrace for the morning. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful, but it doesn't stop there. We are going to a traditional village for views of Mount Fuji. We are going to a private onsen, hopefully to bathe with views of Mount Fuji. It's all about Mount Fuji. Fuji today. Let's get going. So actually, it wasn't too straightforward getting here. During the warmer months, they have a shuttle bus that takes you from the car park up to the terrace here. But because it's the start of April, it's not running, right? So we had to wake up at 4.30 in the morning and do a one hour like walk from the car park. And yeah, you get to views like this, totally worth it. So we just came back to this rest stop next to Lake Kawaguchi. We actually stayed here last night. We didn't realize because we got here when it was dark, but it's actually quite beautiful right next to the lake here. And we just came back so that we could, you know, brush our teeth, freshen up, get ready so that we can go into the next spots for the day. Besides the terrace, every place we'll be visiting can be reached by public transport. But having a car gives you that little bit more freedom. And if you're staying in a van, there's a couple of free rest spots around the area, so it can be a pretty neat way to travel. Currently, we're next to the most popular of Fuji's five lakes, Lake Kawaguchi. But now we're heading to the next lake over to visit a beautiful traditional village. Saiko Lake is pretty. Saiko. Did you get it? And here we are at the second Fuji viewing spot. We're at this traditional village and it's just so cool. There's so many different kind of huts that you can go in and each one has a different theme. You can just poke your head in all under the majestic view of Fuji. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend it. This spot used to be a former farming village and you can even do some workshops to create local handicrafts. If you're around the area in mid-April, the village has heaps of beautiful cherry blossom trees, but unfortunately we were a little too early for them this time. Another spot with an interesting view of Fuji is Tenku no Tori. We didn't visit on this trip but a couple of years ago when Japan's borders were still closed, so we can't say how crowded it gets now. The views are quite beautiful, but let us know if you've been here recently and whether you think it's worth it. Now, it's time for lunch. So this isn't necessarily uh, Mount Fuji views, although it is just outside, you can see it. But of course, we need to come and have some lunch. So we came to a place called San Loku, and um, actually I know about it through my work at Tokyo Chipo. My co-worker uh, suggested it. We put it in a video about like going around Kawaguchi area, so you can also check that out if you like. But we are here today. We got the uh, Koshu course. Basically, you get like fish, vegetables, scallops, squid, rolled pork, like so much stuff. And you cook it over this open fire. So let's start. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so we were told by the staff that you grab your skewer and you cook it for a little bit, right? And then after you cook it for a little bit, you dunk it into like the communal jar of flavor. <laughs> I shouldn't call it jar of flavor, sauce. And then you cook it again for like another minute. And then you do it again, you dunk it, and then you cook it again. And then you dunk it and you cook it again. And then you get to eat it. So hopefully after this long process, it should be extremely tasty. Hmm, and it is. Oh, yeah, I do think that might be one of the tastiest mushrooms I've ever had. Oh yeah, trust the process guys. That's good, trust the process. Oh no, it's so black. We had a small mishap 
and maybe burnt the tofu. Uji. Oh no, he's ascending into the clouds. We're not gonna be able to see him for very much longer today, but um, that's okay, you know. We, we had an absolutely outstanding morning, uh, like, you know, the sunrise with Mount Fuji, and all day we've just been driving around looking at Fuji. Ah, oh, Fuji, he's there, so beautiful. Uh, so, no complaints there. Uh, but we can just go and roll around in the tub now for the rest of the afternoon and just uh, enjoy the last sights of Fuji as he disappears into the clouds. See our boy, but that is nice. Yeah. I think this is one of the nicest pavilions that we've been to. Oh, yeah, nice facilities, too. <laughs> there are heaps of onsens around Mount Fuji, but it's not quite as easy to find a private use one that's not in a ryokan you can use just for the day that has beautiful views of Mount Fuji. But this is one of them. It is fabulous. It is so beautiful. We do have a lot of onsen videos on our channel, um, but this is one of the best ones, best private ones that we've come to. The private onsen rooms with a view of Mount Fuji start from 5,500 yen for one hour. We'll leave links to the places we visited in the video description. Thanks so much for joining us on this trip around the beautiful Fuji area. We'll see you in the next video.